Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the T's study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll deal with a topic that you will find on page number 67. It deals with the order of operations. When we have several different operations in a given quantity, in a given expression, like multiplication and division and addition and subtractions, we must know in what order should we go, we must know what the rules are, what are the rules of the game, so that two people looking at the same uh, expression arrive at the same answer. For example, for example, let's look at a very simple example. For example, if you tell me, if you tell me 7 times 6 uh, plus 2, 7 times 6 plus 2, well, if I do 6 plus 2 first, I will end up with 7 times 8, which is 56. On the other hand, someone looking at the same exact thing, someone looking at the same exact thing, might do 7 times 6, which is 42, plus 2, they'll end up with 44. They're coming at a different answer. I hope I did it right. 6 plus 2 is 8, 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 times 6 is 42. So here I multiply, I did 7 times 6 first, and then I added the 2 to the result. Question is, who is right? They seem both equally right to me. I mean, who's to tell, who's could tell whom, hey, I am right and you are wrong? It is for this reason that we must have the rules of the game laid out before the game is played. And the rules in which the all operations must be performed are what are known as the order of operations. It tells you precisely in what order we should go so that we all arrive at the same answer, so that we all agree ahead of time how we're going to do our calculation all over the world, all over the world. And the order in which the operation must be done are, we must do the parentheses first, then the exponents, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. People use this, this uh, f they use the first letter to make an acronym to help them remember it. They use this as a memory device, they use it as a mnemonic. People use this as mnemonic, PEMDAS is called, and PEMDAS help us, helps us remember the correct proper order of operation. As I said, it's just a memory device, it's just a mnemonic. Mnemonic is just a memory device. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Notice how I keep reading it. Multiplication and addition, I read them together, and addition and subtraction, there is a reason for it. When you have multiplication and divisions together in the same expression, then the rule is that you must go from left to right. Similarly, when you have so quantity which involves addition and subtraction, and nothing else, just addition and subtraction, then again the rule is you must go from left to right. Other than that, you go through this operation. Let's do the problem, shall we? You will see this complication of this, these two motions as you go a little bit higher in the problem. Let's do the very first one. So here, which guy was correct here? The guy that was correct is because we are told to do the multiplication first and then the addition. This guy should not have done his addition first. He's wrong. His answer is wrong. This is the correct answer. Let's do the first problem, shall we? Example 1. 6 plus... 7 times 8 is the same exact situation that we just dealt with right now. So what should I, what should we do first? Oh, well, we should do the multiplication first. Multiplication comes first. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 is a 56 plus 6. 56 plus 4 would have been 60, so it is 62. Number 2. 16, 16 divided by 8 minus 2. Again, you see, if we had not agreed upon ahead of time the rules of the game, then I might have done I might have done the problem like this: 16 divided by 8 minus 8 minus 2 is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. This, of course, is wrong. We, the rules tells us that we should do the parentheses first, then the exponents, then the multiplication, and then division. We should have done the division first, not the subtraction. Subtraction is way at the end. We, must, we should have done the division first. It should have been 16 divided by 8 minus 2. We must have done the division first. We should have, not must, must have. We should have done division first, which we did not. We did the subtraction first. Let's do the division first. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And 2 minus 2 
gives us a big fat zero. Not an ordinary zero. Oh no sir, a big fat one. Do you understand? The answer is a big fat zero. Number three. But you see the complications here, which is why we lay out, uh, uh, the, which is why the rules are laid out ahead of time. Number three. Twenty-five minus eleven in the parentheses times three. Well, that's very simple. It's very simple because parentheses is the first thing we're supposed to do. So twenty-five minus eleven is what we're going to do first. We know twenty-five minus ten. Twenty-five minus ten is fifteen. That I do know. So twenty-five minus eleven must be one less than fifteen. So it's fourteen. It's fourteen times three. How much is fourteen times three? But oh, don't look at me. How the hell do I know? Let's find out, shall we? Fourteen times three. Well, we know. We know. 10 times 3 is 30. That I do know. 10 3 is a 30. And 4 3 is a 12. Oh, there you go. It's 42. It's 42. It's 42. Which makes perfect sense because even though I did not know what 14 threes are by heart, I do know 15 threes. 15 threes if you have, or 3 15s. If you have 3 15s, 15 plus 15 plus 15, 3 15s are 45. We don't have three fifteens, we have three fourteens. In other words, we don't have fifteen threes, we have fourteen threes. So if fifteen threes are forty-five, then fourteen fourteen three is tenths to reason, must be three less than forty-five, which is forty-two. Let's do number four. Number four. Oh number four is a long one. Let's put it on the top so we have the room. Can we erase all of this thing? We, we, can, we, we can erase all of this thing. We don't need the room. To, uh, we, we don't need to occupy all the room, do we? Number four. Three plus six times five plus four divided by three minus seven. Let's see what we can do. Well, first thing first, we see a parenthesis first. We're supposed to do the parentheses first. Perhaps I should, we should have left it there. Parentheses. B, E, M, D, A, S. And remember, remember that multiplication and division have the same preference and addition and subtraction have the same status. And when they appear in the expression, an expression involves nothing but multiplication and division or addition and subtraction, then the rule is to go from left to right. We'll get to that in a second. First thing is the parentheses, we're going to do that first. So 3 plus, make sure you line up everything properly. 4 plus, 5 plus 4 is 9, divided by 9, minus 7, minus 7. Now what do we do? This is what we're talking about. You see right here, we have multiplication and division. Since it's multiplication and division, you're going to go from left to right, starting from here to here. You're going to go from left to right. So left to right, going from left to right is 6 times 6 times 9, so we're going to have 3 plus 6 times 9, which is which is 54, and then this divided by 3, and then minus 7. 6 9s are 54. How do I know 6 9s are 54? Well, because I know I know that 10 6 are 60. I know I know that 10 6 are 60. If 10 6 are 60, if you were to subtract one more 6 from it, if you were to subtract one 6 from it, that must represent 9 6. 9 6 are 54. 9, 9, 6 are 54 is same as saying 6, 9 are 54. In case you wonder, understand, if you, in, in case you're understanding, in case you're wondering about the language, this is how we say it. 9, 6 are 54. 9, 9, it should say 9, 6 is our 6, 54. I just said 9, 6. 9, 6 are 54. Or, or, or you can read that as 6, 9s are 54. Same thing. Or we can we could have read that as six nines are fifty-four. If you're gonna read it like this, six nines are fifty-four, then this is how we write it, six nines. And this is nine six would be nine nine six. Nine six are fifty-four. Anyway, so that was fifty-four. Now we have to do the division. Fifty-four divided by three. Now we have to do the division. How much is fifty-four divided by three? Again, don't look at me. How the hell do I know? Let's do it out. 54 divided by 3. Let's do it right here. 54 divided by 3. How many 3's does 5 have? 5 has 1 3. 5 has 1 3. 
when we take away five from the when we take away five has one three one three one's a three when we take away three from the five we have a remainder of two that two goes and joins the four becomes the twenty four and twenty four has eight threes it looks to me that fifty four divided by three is eighteen it is eighteen so it's three plus and this entire part is eighteen minus seven we're almost done now we have addition and subtraction and nothing else we have addition and subtraction and nothing else. Rules tells us that when we have nothing but addition and subtraction, we must go from left to right. 3 plus 18 is 21. Then, then minus 7 comes down, and 21 minus 7 is finally 14. The answer is 14 to this problem. Let's do number 5, shall we? Let's do number 5. Number five says, we are on the next page by the way now, we are on page numbers, we moved on to page 68 in the previous problem, we are no longer on page 67, we are on example number five. This is nine minus five divided by eight minus three times two plus six. Let's see what we can do, shall we? What, let's see what we can do. First thing first, first we have to do the parenthesis. So it's 9 minus 5 divided by 8 minus 3, which is 5, times 2, plus 6. 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 9 minus 5 divided by 10, plus 6. 5 divided by 10, 5 divided by 10 is 1 half plus 6. You see where I'm headed? This is all wrong. This is all wrong. Why is it wrong? Because when we arrive at this stage, we had a division here, and when we had the multiplication here, we should have gone from left to right. Instead, I did this one first. That's why we're getting a goofy answer. This is wrong. When you have, again one more time, starting from this part to this part, we have division, and multiplication. We have both. We have both of them. Which one should we go? Well, we, the rule is we must go, why my arrow is going away now, we must go from left to right. Left to right. Let's do it again. The way we did was wrong. Let's do it again. 9 minus 5 divided by 8 minus 3 times 2 plus 6 which gives us 9 minus 5 divided by, we do the parenthesis first, we get 5 times 2. You see earlier we did 5 times 2 first, we did this one part first, that was wrong. You see, this is starting from this part to that part, and then we have plus 6. If you look at this area right here, it involves division and multiplication. Division and multiplication. And when they, when they are both involved like this, we have to go in this area from left to right. Starting from here and ending here, we must go from left to right. We must evaluate this first. Let's do that properly. Let's do it properly. So this 9 is going to come down. Minus 5 divided by 5 is 1. Times 2. Times 2. Plus 6. Now we do the multiplication first. Now we do the multiplication. Do one thing at a time. Do one step at a time. Bring down everything. See how I'm lining it up? Even though it looks awkward and spread out, but that's okay. Bring down the 6 together. Bring down 9 together. Line up everything. 1 times 2 is 2, so it's minus 2 plus 6. We're done. 9 minus 2 is 7 plus 6, and 7 plus 6 is 13. The correct answer to this problem was 13, not the other mumbo jumbo that we got there. We were getting something else, obviously, there. In the next video, we'll do five more problems, okay? We'll stop right here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.